So just as I gave you a short tutorial on customizing Vim, I'd like to go ahead and show you just a couple of things about customizing Emacs. Uh, like Vim, Emacs can be tailored by you know redefining key mappings or settings, and uh, any permanent settings that you want to save. Uh, just like uh, in Vim, you had the VimRC file. Well, here you have a uh, .emacs file. This is where your settings go. So uh, the language that Emacs is written in is a fully, you know, functional programming language called Lisp, a very high, powerful language. And uh, you know, it's the language that Emacs was originally written in. And so all your uh, extensibility or your, you know, uh, it's high because of this. It's very highly extensible uh, that you can basically put in your own functions or commands into your Emacs file and in, in a fully functional programming language, uh, which which makes it really nice. So, uh, you know, in Vim you have all these variables and commands, and if you'd, you'd like to see the default value, then you can use this uh, describe variable command uh, or the key mapping, uh, control HV, followed by the variable name. And uh, so as an example, uh, you know, th there's a on our right feature, an auto save timeout uh, in Vim, and if we'd like to take a look at what the, that value is, uh, we could, you know, say Control H V auto save timeout. Uh, we'll go ahead and do that just so you can see it. So I'm going to start up Emacs here. And uh, we'll just use the uh, meta x uh, describe variable, hit enter, and then it'll ask us for the variable we'd like. So we'll say auto save timeout. And so then it gives us a buffer down below that uh, tells us which, uh, uh, what the what the current auto save timeout's default value is. And, uh, you know, it gives us some information about what it does. And it says, of course, we can customize this. Uh, so uh, we can close that buffer. Uh, and then if we'd, we'd like to customize it, then we'd say meta x set variable. And then it's going to ask us for the variable we'd like to save, auto save timeout, followed by a value. So we're going to set the value to 60. Okay. And uh, then if we take another look at uh, what that is, then uh, for describe variable, auto save timeout. Then you can see that the, the uh, variable's value has changed from 30 to 60. And we could go on changing these, uh, uh, you know, basically all the, the thousands of commands uh, that are in there in Emacs, you could change in this way, uh, the ones that have default values. And so Once you decide on a set of default values you like, you can you can put these in a, in a file, your .emacs file, uh, with the set Q command. Uh, there's also a command set Q default, and uh, you know I don't really want to get into the specifics of what the difference is, but let's just say that if you try set Q and it doesn't seem to work, then try set Q default. And uh, you know here's here's a couple of uh, you know, common commands or things that you might want to have in your .emacs file. Um, I'll leave it to uh, to Google uh, to, to find the rest because there's just too many to list. But I just want to make you aware of kind of how you'd go about changing these. And, uh, you know, like I mentioned before, Emacs is just extremely extensible and there's kind of a philosophy in the Emacs community that Emacs is a platform with an editor built into it. We tend to think of, of you know, Vim as just, just an editor, basically and we can extend it to do other things, but uh, the Emacs community seems to think, you know, has this philosophy that Emacs is really a fully integrated development environment. It has an editor built into it, but because it's so extensible, you can do so many more things with it. And uh, so I just wanted to make you aware of that. And if you're an Emacs user, you, you have a lot of options uh, as to how to extend the environment.